In this video, we are looking at a common drive shaft wear issue that affects a very popular light commercial vehicle, Volkswagen's Transporter T5. The first symptom of an impending issue is a clonking or clicking noise when pulling away from stationery. The noise is caused by excess wear between the connecting splines of the right-hand insert shaft and the drive shaft. If this is not attended to, a loss of drive is likely. Phoebe offer all the replacement parts necessary for a complete repair. More details can be found on our online catalogue www.partsfinder.com where you can also find a technical bulletin on this topic. Loosen the drive shaft retaining nut, push through the drive shaft to ensure it is free in the hub, then raise the vehicle and remove the wheel. To free the drive shaft from the hub, remove the two retaining bolts that secure the lower ball joint and swing away the hub assembly. Undo the two retaining bolts from the centre drive shaft bearing support and remove the drive shaft from the vehicle. Drain the transmission oil, then refit the drain plug. To remove the insert shaft, use a 6mm Allen key socket to undo the retaining bolt while also using a suitable counter hold tool to prevent the insert shaft from turning. Next, remove the insert shaft from the transmission and inspect for any broken parts. It is common for the brass ring to fracture, leaving remains inside the differential. Clear any broken metal fragments if required, then remove the drive shaft oil seal. Apply a high temperature multi-purpose EP grease to the new seal. Once installed, insert the new insert shaft into the transmission and tighten the retaining bolt. Fill the transmission with fresh oil to the correct level. Apply a high temperature multi-purpose EP grease to the mating surfaces of the insert shaft and drive shaft. Install the new drive shaft assembly and tighten all fixings to the manufacturer's recommended torque settings. Lower the vehicle and refit the wheel, tightening the wheel bolts to 180 newton meters. Then tighten the new drive shaft retaining nut to 200 newton meters. Slacken 180 degrees, then retighten to 200 newton meters. With everything complete, test drive the vehicle.